Hello again everybody, this is John with BestPriceNutrition.com. Today I am here to cover a question that comes up a lot, and it's the converse of a question we covered just recently. And instead of can you turn fat into, can you turn, can muscle turn into fat, this one is can you turn fat into muscle. Um, and again, this answer may be obvious to some of you, however it comes up, so um, that's why we're making the video. So. Specifically what's going on here is no, you cannot take a fat cell and then turn it into a muscle cell. Um, that's just not the way it works. Um, probably why people have this perception is because they see somebody who's probably heavy. It could be a bodybuilder maybe in the off season or just somebody who maybe used to work out and is just a heavier guy now or somebody who's never worked out before and is heavier and they see them getting leaner and putting on muscle. And I've kind of touched on this in another video that we'll link below as to whether or not one can add muscle and simultaneously burn fat. And the short answer to that is it depends on your starting point. You know, if you're somebody that's never lifted before, of course, that's quite feasible. Um, it's, there's not a one-size-fits-all rule, but I cover that in depth in that video. But I think more or less that's what you have, is you have somebody who's heavier, and they're, they are. They're either putting on muscle tissue or they're burning away fat, and you're starting to see the muscle. You know, if you take somebody, and you could even make their arms or something smaller, but then if you start to reduce fat, let's just say around the elbows, around the wrist, well, everything looks bigger. You know, let's say a bodybuilder has a small wrist. Well, it's going to make their forearms look that much bigger. You know, that's kind of where you'll hear things like that. So sometimes I think just anecdotally people are seeing guys in the gym that, hey, boy, that guy, he, he, man, he was fat before and he's turning that fat into muscle. Probably just leaning out and not, not probably, I mean, that's what's happening. Um, so as they lean out, you start to see more of that muscle and it makes you look bigger. It's part of the illusion, you know. We'll put some pictures up here behind of um, some guys who you'd never believe what their actual body weight is. Um, because if you, look, if you look at them, I mean, it's a tiny waist and big broad shoulders. I mean, there's guys, I've uh, got one that comes up all the time, guys who fight in the UFC. Some of these guys are 155 pounds and they have physiques that look like, wow, they're well above 155 pounds. Now, granted, they've rehydrated the night of their fight, so they've put on weight, so they may be 15, 20 pounds heavier. But even that being said, that they, they look a lot bigger than that particular weight class, let's just say. And you see it all the time with bodybuilders, you know. We'll put up a picture of uh, one of our customers, Joe Silzer. He's a guy who competes at 172 pounds, but you'd swear he was much heavier. Um, I think Joe's only 5'8", but still he looks a lot bigger. And it's just because he's got really good genetics for bodybuilding in terms of his joints being very small and his muscle tissue is all in the, in the right places in terms of a bodybuilding contest. So that's really where that comes from. Um, again, it's not a fat cell just morphing into a muscle cell. It doesn't happen. And let's face it, some people put on muscle more easily than others. And consequently, some of those same people also put on body fat a little bit easier too. Um, so it, it really depends in that case. So that's really what you're seeing there, guys. It's not any uh, cells just morphing over from one to the other. Um, so I hope that answers the question. Again, I'm sure that answer might have been obvious to some of you, but hey, some people are novices and they have these questions, so we'll answer them for you. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comment section of the video or blog. Also, if you like the video, please feel free to like it below. We appreciate it. And you can also check us out at facebook.com slash bestpricenutrition. Thank you for watching.